a little bit about the meridian or the Jing Luo theory is that they talk about the pathways of which qi, energy, and the blood circulate in the body. And it is actually demonstrated, so it's not just a random theory, it's they can actually find the meridian, which is a line across the whole body, is demonstrated by the measurement of neural electric potentials. They actually measure the, well, rephrase, the, 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 the westerners, they measure this because when they first explored Chinese medicine, they're like, what are you going on about that imaginary line on the person, on the body? So they actually see whether there's a line exists and they actually <coughs> see a difference. So those lines do exist. It unifies all parts of the organism, connecting the internal organs with the external body. So where the surface of the skin is connected to the inside. And that's a very, very different concept. I mean, if I were to say that there are some bits of the skin that's connected to your liver, you'd be like, how does that work? And it maintains harmony and equilibrium. Chang Fu organs, so we talk about Wu Chang Liu Fu, five of the yin organs and six of the yang organs. So the solid organs and the hollow organs. So we're talking about the liver, spleen, kidney, heart, lungs, and for the hollow organs, the stomach, small intestines, large intestines, uh, the bladder, uh, the gallbladder, and the triple heater, which is found in the chest. And the reason why I put those little initials behind there, you'll slowly come to light when we talk about acupuncture points. So the meridian system comprises of 12 regular meridians corresponding to the 12 Sangfu organs. And basically what happens is that the, um, if you sort of split your body into half, the meridian found on this side will be found on this side because it mirrors. Okay, so they're what we call paired meridians. Then you get two unpaired channels, the governing channel and the conception channel because uh, the, the conception is the, the, right, the line right in between the middle. So obviously it's right in the middle, so there's no left or right, it's just right in the middle. And the governing system is one behind. Yep. So these are the main, there are other sort of six not so common meridians that, um, that, that we mentioned, but it's not really used. So for example, this is a meridian system for a cat's bladder uh, that is uh, drawn in, and you can see that it's nothing to do with the gallbladder, <laughs> seemingly. It's just drawn in in a supposedly haphazard arrangement, but as I said before, the neural potential, uh, the, the, the neural electric potential does make a difference to show that this line actually does exist. And uh, just for a sort of comparison, this is looking at the spine, not the best diagram, I do apologize. Human spine, head, backside, and all the different vertebrates over here. So just where the spine is and on the left and on the right, there's a little muscle over there, one stretch of a bacterial muscle coming down, and that's where the bladder meridian lies. So corresponding to each uh, vertebrae is each number, okay? And this is developed by the, uh, by, by the Westerners, because in Chinese, uh, each of these acupuncture points have their own unique name, which not many Westerners can pronounce every single <laughs> one, and it will be a bit of a challenge if they were told to remember every single name before they can actually do acupuncture. So they just made it simple. So example, uh, there's all the bladder points. So the first vertebrae, bladder 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that, that's how they call it. So bladder 13, bladder 14, and it just corresponds with each uh, vertebrae. Once you go to the uh, doggies, we haven't got the same amount. Uh, they haven't got the same amount of vertebrae as us, so it's extrapolated from the human medicine. So that's why over here you get the ones in red. So skip this two, go on to the next one. Skip this one. Skip this one because they just simply haven't got the same amount of vertebrae with us. Same for the horses. They're just missing two vertebrae over there, so we just skip on to the next acupuncture point for that. <coughs> 